Hi, morning, Dave Smith here. Uh, first off, um, before we get into this, uh, just a, a little apology. The neighbours are having work done, uh, and so we might hear banging in the background. I guess it'll depend on how good this, uh, this Lavalier mic is in isolating background noise, but we'll see. Uh, I could put this off, but I think they're due to have this all week. So we'll give it a go, we'll see how it works out. Uh, I'm actually going to make uh, three videos in this, three separate videos in this session, so we'll see how things go. Uh, so the first video I'm going to make is the getting ready for wet plate. Now that's been a little kind of mini series on the channel and that's coming to an end. The final piece of that is the wet plate holders, which I'm going to show you uh, in a moment, just talk a little about. Not a lot to say about them, but there are some bits to say. Um, and that'll be the end of that series, and then the next bit of the wet plate will be the doing of wet plate. Now, my photographic interests are, uh, are changing at the moment, and uh, I'm not really sure where wet plate or, or indeed large, f large format is going to fit with that. Um, certainly there'll be some large format, uh, probably on the 5x4. Uh, and there'll be some wet plate, um, but I'm not sure where it's going to fit. But the next bit of the series will be the doing of wet plate, and that'll be the mixing of the chemicals, the, um, the lighting, testing the lighting, the shooting, um, developing and so on, making actual plates. I haven't decided yet whether that belongs here on YouTube or whether that should be part of the um, part of the uh, online workshop series on Patreon. Um, let me know what you think about that. I'll be interested to hear. Um, there'll be a fly out, I think, for the Patreon, and I'll put the link to Patreon in, in the description and at the end and all that stuff. Uh, so let's get into uh, holders. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a couple down here. <coughs> That's the 10 by 8 and 5 by 4 holder. I'm going to do something else with 5 by 4. This massive beast is the 12 by 20, and I think the 12 by 20 is, uh, is destined to go. Uh, I've put that up on eBay and I'll advertise it elsewhere. Uh, it just isn't going to fit with uh, with where I'm going with photography although it's quite a beast and it's just basically sat around for years um, which is silly really so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move that one on so let's have a look at the holder anyway so that a bit like your double dark slide holder there are this one's got a bit rubbed there you get these two slides and you can see here where the plate would sit now I've got my inserts in here. I think you, I think you'll be able to see that. So the plate would sit in that space there, going in from the other side. This, this would be the side that the lens is over there and the image is projected here. And this is eight, uh, this is eight by twenty. So if we turn that around, we look at the other side. Take this slide out, and you see there's a there's an insert there which is sprung. So that just pushes the back uh, against the plate, uh, preventing it from moving or slipping or just kind of flopping back a little bit. Now, if you are doing tin types, ordinarily what you would do is, you can see there, the recess where the plate would sit for eight by 20. And you would put your plate uh, in there. Now, if this is a tin type, they're very thin. So you would put a sheet of glass behind that to just make sure that the plate pushes nicely against them. Uh, and if I take those out, you can see where the full 12 by 20 plate would sit. So you'd put your plate in, uh, put, uh, may maybe your inserts if, you, if you're using them. Um, so you've sensitized your plate, put your matrix on, your your plate goes in there with the matrix facing outwards, right? So this here, we're looking at the back of the plate. Your pressure plate goes in, your slide goes in like so. OK, 
Okay, and then this would this would already be on when you're putting your plate in, uh, but I'll just put this back on now. So your plate's in, you take that out, load that into your camera so that that side is now facing the lens. So the lens is over here, bellows, plate. Pull that out, take the lens cap off, expose your plate. That's it, that's a holder. Now those are, at that size, they're hugely expensive. That would be about 800 pounds-ish for one of those, maybe more. Uh, this is the 10x8 version. And in my 10x8 version, I've also got a 5x4 insert. So I can take that insert out, not from here, this is the front, right? So the, um, the matrix would be facing out this way, your lens, bellows, exposure, uh, exactly the same as that one, uh, with the insert as 5x4 without 10x8. Uh, apart from that, process exactly the same. So those are holders. If you are shooting wet plate and you are shooting on tin type, don't forget to also put just a piece of plain 2mm um, framers glass in there as well, just to make sure that the tin type plate is held uh, firmly in place by the um, pressure plate at the back. Now there's another style of holder that people use. Let me just grab one of those. You get these um, Lisco Fidelity type uh, holders for um, view cameras and I've got a stack of 5x4s there to go with my Horseman camera. And uh, let's just have a quick look at, uh, at these. So you've got your dark slide and you've got those on each side and it's separated by a septum, uh, a little kind of piece in between and what you do is you open that bit and your film slides in there's some guide rails at the bottom here your film slides in underneath those and sits against that septum close it back up and you're ready to shoot but what uh, some people do is they will take those two out and they'll use something like a little dremel tool and they'll dremel out that septum all the way around then put a little kind of take a little triangle off that and put that back in uh, underneath so that your your plate goes in. So if you've cut that out, you put a little triangle at each corner or a piece of wire or something like that. Your plate goes in, matrix facing that way. Uh, a little piece of pressure back here with one of the slides, and you've got um, you've got a homemade wet plate holder. Uh, and that's that's what some people uh, do with those. Now those are pretty cheap. Those are fifteen or fifteen to twenty-five pounds each, depending on where and when you get them. Uh, the ten by eight versions of these are hugely expensive. Maybe around uh, seventy to hundred pounds for a ten by eight version of those. Uh, that's still cheaper than a new uh, wet plate holder. That ten by eight wet plate holder was about three hundred pounds. And that's about what they cost. You get them from Chamonix, they're about that price. Uh, so quite expensive. Um, similarly, the, the 5x4 uh, holder from Chamonix, I think is a little over 100 pounds. Been a while since, since I looked at those. So that's another option. If you want to save a little bit of money, you can, get, you can shoot in 5x4 on a 5x4 large format camera take this septum out, put a little triangle of material in to hold the plate in place, put it in, put your dark slides in, you're good to shoot. Um, now you want to make sure when you've cut that out, when you put the triangles in from the underside, that there's enough space, because that, that's only maybe a millimetre thick. So that's okay if you're shooting on tin type, if you're shooting on glass, I think you want to make sure that your glass is two mils and not three mils, for example, just to make sure you've got enough clearance <laughs> between the dark slide and the matrix when the dark slide goes in. Uh, so that's another, uh, that's another possibility for uh, holders. Um, if anybody's uh, shooting wet plate, uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments about 
uh, what you're doing, what you're using, uh, how that's working out. If you're thinking about shooting wet plate and you're watching these, you, you're kind of looking at this series for some uh, indicators, I'd, lo I'd love to hear from you as well. Just um, what you're thinking about this little series, uh, how your plans for wet plate are going. Uh, let me know what's happening. Okay, so that's the end of the getting ready for wet plate series. I hope that's been of some interest and some use. Uh, I'll transition now into the doing of wet plate. I'm not quite sure when I'll get to that. There's really quite a lot of uh, videos to, to get through before I get to there. Um, but I will get to it. Uh, so I hope this is all of some interest. Bye for now. <coughs>